Cześć. Nie. All right. Oh, so if you saw the last video, left off in here. So this is the next day. Trains is out. Clutch is out. Flywheel looks pretty good actually, except for it's a little hot spotting in here in the inner circle. But all right. Um, my worst fears were. Not realized though, which is good. My worst fear was that all this, I didn't do much spinning of the clutch, but I thought I may have like destroyed it, but. Honestly could probably resell that. <laughs> so, South Bend is good. Just not for the power I was having with that. I want the FX250 for a replacement. Segmented Kevlar. Rear. Yeah. Um, new OEM flywheel just cause. And yeah. I know. We'll get this in. I got chases here. Figured out an easier way to pull this out so it didn't take no time at all. Strap that to the motor, hold it at an angle so you'll see when we put it back in. Flywheel is out. One thing I want to just kind of preface really quick. This behind here is your reluctor plate. So I've seen a lot of people really foul up the whole clutch job when they don't put this in properly. So basically the, I think it's either cam or crank position sensor, whichever one's on the top of the bell housing reads this, all right? And it has to be in a specific way. And a lot of people are like, oh, I cracked my, my um, friction plate or my car is misfiring after they do the clutch. I don't know what's going on, I can't run it. Now, some people I've seen, they, they take this out, it comes with it because it was stuck to the flywheel. Well, new. No. They throw it out because it was stuck to it or they put it in like backwards like this or something because it'll go in, but you gotta watch out. So that pin right there that lines up, it's only one orientation it can have. You can still put this in backwards, but it has to go in with I think everybody has a B, or just the lighter side up, with the teeth that are on the edge of it, facing down towards the back of the block. And you gotta set it in, boom. So this is the new one. This is an Exeti OEM flywheel. This is a Subaru OEM. Same weight. Yeah, she's heavy. I guess Exeti makes some um, all the flywheels for Subaru. So you can get these at like literally half the price of an actual Subaru OEM one, it's the same one. So we're gonna bolt this up and make sure she's Gucci. I know it doesn't look similar, but we'll figure that out when we line it up. Somebody could resurface this, not much resurfacing, reuse this. I'll probably sell this on the cheap though, if somebody wants it, but because there's still plenty of freaking meat on there. All right, everything bolted together, torqued down. Time to put the trains back in. <sighs> All right, day three, kind of. Past two days weren't really like full days of go, 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 trying to get it done. It's been kind of nonchalant, but at the same time, not. Uh, clutch came out in, as you saw. It spent us two, we, it took us, we spent two hours We're just about trying to get the transmission fully bolted onto the bell housing. It got out to about, I wanna say right there of a gap. And that was the closest we could get and we were wrestling with this thing. And by we, I mean me. Um, Chase was helping, he really was, but he had to go. So I stopped for a minute, Taylor came over, and I just didn't even want to film any of it. I just wanted to get it in and get it over with and continue the next day because I had plans last night. Um, but yeah, what, even he, me and him under there at the same time having issues. 
same problem. So we got it out. We dropped it back down to check and see because we were spinning the crankshaft to see if the uh, output shaft was spinning, and it was. So we pulled out the transmission, and on the input shaft on the splines, the grease was pushed in like a quarter of an inch inside the splines. So it was kind of mating up, but I think the tolerances on the uh, pilot bearing on the flywheel are a little tight, cause, but not tight enough where you could never get it in. So we got it back up in a little bit closer this time. So then we were just like, screw it. Let's just kind of like walk the whole thing up with full support with the bolts going from the transmission into the block. Kind of a no-no. I didn't want to do it. Like we almost did it, me and Chase, but I was like, I don't want to. Just a fear of popping a thread. Um, but we went around like you would a wheel, put it on, star pattern tightening. You do, we get it snug and then do like maybe a full turn or two and then go to another side and go back and forth and it worked that way. So shout out to Taylor for getting dirty with me for the 20 minutes that we did that for. But yeah, we're uh, just bolting everything up now. Got throttle, I think the speed sensors, everything else, starter, these are all torqued down. Pitch stop mount, all the cable linkage in the back. And uh, really the only thing is um, drive shaft, exhaust, CV axles, and fill the trans in the diff. Or actually fill the trans, empty the diff, and refill it because I'm going to um, change that out. It's kind of getting close to being needed to be done, so I might as well do it now. Kyle for the help. Let's go take it for a spin. All right. Car feels just like it did before, but this clutch, I thought on the description, the people are saying, oh, it's like a little heavier than stock. This is the lightest clutch I've had in here. This is so light. This is like almost like Chase's car now. I just saw him, he said he looked at it. He wanted to feel it because I had to drop something off at his house. He goes, what the heck? At first I thought something was wrong, but it disengages, engages, goes through all the gears like it's supposed to. The engagement point is right off the floor. So like you get a, just like a hair bit of travel. Yeah, 
can see right there. Hair bit of travel right off the floor and then it'll grab. So it's like literally, it's like literally perfect for the most part. It's gonna move as I break it in. But um, overall it bites and goes. So you can hear a little bit, I got a little bit of the noise, harshness, vibration. I have the uh, Torque Solutions solid tranny mount. So solid tranny brace, I guess you could say. But yeah, let the uh, break in continue. That was pretty good, actually. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, this weekend, I think, Wicked Big Meat, we're gonna have the boys going there, so that's, I won't have the car necessarily ready to do pulls, but we're gonna be there. that will be a good break in point for the car. So I'll have a bunch of the guys going. And uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. Pretty solid. And uh, yeah.